I'm getting a little clean down. I feel like I might have shit on my face. But it's a wing video. That's kind of just to be expected, really. In a wing video, it's saucy, it's messy. We're gonna get gross. <laughs> Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. If y'all wanna know the vibe, y'all gotta go subscribe. Click the bell to get notified. And check out the clothing line, clothing line. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're eating wings in this video. Oh, yeah. What up? All right, first things first, just straight up, honestly, guys, shout out to you guys. It's been a minute since I gave just a mass shout out to my team. Thank you guys for riding with me. Thank you for continuing to click the subscribe button, supporting me and all these things, uh, views, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So on deck today, what do we have? It's a hoodie favorite. It's wings. Probably one of my favorite all-time foods. Today, we're switching up that hashtag sauce gang to the honey mustard, homemade honey mustard. I hope you guys like that little food porn there. And then I saved four just dry ones because I also have like some ranch and uh, this Frank's. So I might cross pollinate a little ranch buffalo situation there on those guys. But we're going to focus mainly on these honey mustards. We do have a few things to discuss today. Shit is happening in this world that we're in here, in this life on earth. Some official things are happening. Merch is launched and also music is available on Spotify and iTunes now. What up? I'm going to start eating though, because you guys are like, shut the fuck up and put it in your mouth. And then we'll talk. Also, I just want to discuss a little like weird, like nature versus nurture kind of question for you guys. Like I want to kind of know what your experience was and, and sort of what happened with you and this topic that I'm going to discuss. Okay. Let's make it extra zousy though. And then, oh my God. These are looking so good. Okay. Oh, drip. I'll clean that up later. How should we do it? Just bust it open? I think so. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my God. So good. Clean your bones. Gotta clean your bones. Definitely. And make it saucy. Hashtag sauce gang. Which brings me to my next topic. You can buy that hoodie now. The sauce gang hoodie exist if you go to the description and click the link to the merch site blackhoodie.ca you are going to find a sauce gang 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 shirt in multiple colorways you're also going to find what do you like this this guy black hoodie Like we've been talking about for months. It's been a long time coming. A lot of you guys have been wanting it. I also have two other designs on there as well. Hoodies, t-shirts, hats, beanies, crop tops. The world is your oyster. I've already fulfilled a few orders. The site is up and running with no issue. We are ready to go. We are in business. So, if you want to wrap for the team, you 
hit that shit up in the, in the description. Boom, go cop it. And what I want from you is if you do cop it, mm, I want you to, if you feel comfortable enough, snap a shot, repping whatever you get. And then I'm going to have like a fan feature. Because I'm going to make an Instagram page for the clothing. It's like every week. I'll feature somebody rocking it. One of you guys. I think it'll be really dope. I also had in mind when I made the stuff I tried to keep it pretty like incognito, pretty low key, you know what I mean? So that if you do buy it and wear it it's like I'm not going to tell the public like hey, I sit in my room late at night craving food that I don't have watching this guy eat and tell stories on the internet like we all know that we don't want like the general public to kind of know our dirty little secret so i designed the clothes with that in mind low key incognito Late night creeping on the internet, eating food. It's good times. What should we do? Honey mustard with a ranch or a hot sauce dip? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll hot sauce it. That's that two o'clock in the morning shit right there. Unreal. Unbelievable. How good these are right now. Okay. Moving on. Next thing, real quick. Come on, Bone. The music is official. All those tracks that I've uploaded to here, to YouTube, like four of them, they are now on Spotify and iTunes and everywhere else, but I can't help but feel like those are the two that everybody uses, so I'm not going to like worry about, there's like Deezer and all these other places. So again, the link to the music will be in the description. Please go to Spotify. Click into that playlist of mine. Those are four songs. Click play and go to work. Just let it loop. Just smash those views up for me. That would be awesome. <laughs> No, but for real though, if you feel the music, go check it out, play it at parties, play it alone in the bath, play it while you're baking a cake, and just enjoy it. Also... If you want four songs ranging from 90 cent, 99 cents to four dollars you could spend and then you have a piece of audio of me soothing your eardrums for the rest of your existence so for like, i mean for like a buck to four bucks that's like a pretty good deal i'd say that's like a not bad trade-off let's try a ranch i still don't know how honey mustard and ranch will be but 
Here goes nothing. Whoa. Did not expect that to be that good. That was so good. Gotta eat it all. That little cartilage piece? Why not? Okay. Let me get a little clean down. I feel like I might have shit on my face. But it's a wing video. That's kind of just to be expected, really. In a wing video, it's saucy, it's messy. We're gonna get gross, okay? Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about, like, and have your, like, maybe you can tell, like, a little, little story in the comments or whatever. Your thoughts and opinions, plus experiences on Nature versus nurture and how it relates to the age in which you became like sexually aware. And but I what I mean by sexually aware is like just like your your knowingness about like the topic of sex and like the feelings related to it. So and like okay. I was thinking the other day that I was like really aware of the shit, like super young, in my opinion, like really, really young. I'm talking like age, like four or five. Like I just felt like I already knew all this stuff kind of inherently. And I have like some very specific memories of like things relating to that. So. I guess the question I am asking is like, do you think at this point that's something that you're exposed to and like you learn or as a human, because it is such a big part of like what we are because without being sexual, like humanity doesn't exist essentially because you got a bone and make new humans and stuff. So I'm wondering if like, it's just like an inherent trait the knowledge of it and the awareness of it rather than the exposure to it because like I wasn't overly exposed to anything sexual it's just like at a very young age I already like knew things for some reason somehow I don't know how but I did And I very vividly remember being just like a little dude, being on the toilet, flipping through the Sears catalog, like, like five years old, and immediately knowing, like, I wanted to go to the bra section. Do you know what I mean? Like, but being that young, like, I already knew that hitting up those bra pages was like where I wanted to be. Like I didn't care about sofas or vacuums or anything like that. I was like, let me go see those lacy double D's, you know, let's go check that out. That's more my vibe. And like both my grandfather and my dad, they work in a lot of like shops and stuff, like with like guys, guys and cars and engines and all that shit. 
And I remember being brought to shops when I was very young. And in those shops, those dudes are typical. They always have like some hilarious like old school like babes calendar poster. Sometimes most like usually nudity, but at least bikinis. But mostly nude. And I remember seeing these posters like when I walked in there and shit. I'm like feeling some type of wet. I'm being like very revved up, if you will. A very young age, which. I've talked to other people in my life, they're like. Like I've never, I never had those feelings until I was like way older, and I'm like, was I? Am I like this young little deviant? Like I don't, I don't know. It's just like a weird, weird thing because I've had people tell me that they just like didn't know about that stuff. Like they didn't have those feelings that early on. And I wonder where it comes from. A kind of fucked up, but funny story in regards to this, I was, I was in grade three and my stepbrother was in my class. And I remember being like typical me, just, you know in the clouds, not paying attention, like not caring. And I drew this picture, like bird's eye view. I essentially drew like a 2D Playboy mag ad with like a caption and bubble letters and shit. of two people laying in a bed, <laughs> one girl, one guy. That's all I And the caption read from the guy, like, are you ready to fuck? And I folded it up. This is so like super bad style when he's doing the dicks, like when he's drawing the dicks and he's got the dick drawing operation. I folded it up and I like did like the note pass to my stepbrother to see like, I thought he would like laugh or whatever. I guess ultimately I was just trying to be cool really, but. I sent it off. He tried to get it back to me. And in that exchange, we got busted passing a note. And I remember we got busted by, we had a teacher that was like, she was becoming a teacher. So she was just there learning, I guess. It was like an intern type thing sort of deal. And she intercepted the note and I remember her opening it and I just remember being like, fuck, like I'm fucked. I'm fucking busted. Like this is going to be weird. And her face was just like appalled with what she was seeing from such a young person. I mean, rightfully so. Of course, she showed it to the main teacher. The main teacher was like, oh, fuck. We gotta take this to the principal and contact the parents. All that shit. <clears throat> 
And so the parents came in, they had, had like a meeting, and they do the whole like, what is your household like? Is everything all right at home? Are you guys overly sexual? You know, like, what's going on here? How does this kid know this stuff? And then I had to have a talk with my parents, like, you know, why'd you do that? Why are you thinking these things? How do you know about this stuff? And I don't even know the answers. Like, I'm just, I just knew it. And that same year, I remember we were sitting down reading like in the in the on the floor and the teacher was reading the book it was like story time or whatever right as like this is and uh I remember there is this book called something like the balloon tree Or like some girl in the balloon tree or some shit like that. I remember the cover of it had all these different little colored balloons and I leaned over to my friend and friend and I like whispered like I was like more like the condom tree. And my teacher like half heard it and I thought I was busted, but I didn't get busted. But like, how the fuck did I know what a condom was in grade three? Like, is that, like, that half should be crazy. Like, how would a grade three know what a condom is? I don't know. And that's what I'm saying about the art, the, the whole thing about ranch wings. The whole thing about nature versus nurture, like, <clears throat> did I just have some inherent knowledge? Because I can promise you no one was, like, telling me about condoms at that age. So... I don't know. It's weird. That being said, my parents did watch, let me watch a lot of horror movies when I was young. And horror movies generally tend to have, like, sex or something sexual in them. Most usually, especially the older ones, like Halloween and Friday the, th Friday the 13th, Sleepaway Camp, shit like that. So I don't know. If you've made it this far in the video, you're an anomaly of a human being, and an OG rider, and a true rider. So thank you for staying to the end. And if you have stayed to the end to this far, and you have an experience or opinion or thought on that whole topic I was just discussing... Please do so leave it in the comments because I'm really, really intrigued. Like, I would love to know some other people's experiences with that. I'm like, did you ever get caught in a dick drawing operation?
or have some super embarrassing story like that. Because I was fucking so embarrassed when it happened. Alright, well, that's enough for me. I gotta clean up this sticky mess. But until the next one, you know what you're gonna do. You're gonna eat good, you're gonna live well, and stay true. Peace.